Okay, we got some Thera gameplay. I have already watched this, by the way, and um, <laughs> watching it just for this mercy right now. <laughs> uh, how do you how do you fall into the river when you have a Thera? It's a really bad sign for the rest of the match when that happens. It's like you're doomed. Okay, like that went a little far. So, already, this isn't bad. The positioning is more or less right, but it's it's real aggressive. And are you really sure what the enemy is running right now? Because let's say they they had a widow, you'd just be dead. Um. This is this is super like you're staying in here a really long time. Mostly you just want to get a couple shots in here, and then kind of rotate more over here and start shooting, and try and like have a better idea like what they're actually running. Because the more out out here you are, because not like 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 look at you right now, you're not really even next to the building at this point. Um, it's a good way to get yourself killed. Uh, but you know you're in silver and they're all bad shots. Uh, let's keep that in mind. Like, like mostly this is right, but it's you're, you're staying in there a really long time, and it's it's pretty aggressive. And sure, it works out because you boop the roadhog, but that's just a um. Mm, so <laughs> it's just nice that that worked out. How did the Arissa get hooked when she's Arissa? Oh, dear Lord. Anyway. So, similar to what I said about Tosh, it, this is a matter of target priority, right? So, like, positioning okay, um, one's getting long, too far away from the building, but you're shooting at a Reinhardt who is not going to die from you, because he has a Moira, and even if you shoot at Moira, Moira is not going to die because she's Moira. Um, all these guys went into the building, sure, but... You need to kind of keep track of them, and then you already know that's not going to happen. Because you get, like, wrapped up trying to kill this Reinhardt. I mean, sure, your team has pretty much already lost this for you, because the Arisa just, I guess, threw. I, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> you fortify and shield, I don't know how you get hooked. But, uh, this... You're not going to save this by, like, shooting Reinhardt. Because you need to be tracking everyone else. And now you're like, oh, well, I'm going to get Moira. But you completely forgotten about the McCree. Because you should have known... Because you should, you saw they went into the building. So either they're going to come out this door or they're going to come out here. And you, got, you just, like, forgot. You keep track of that McCree, you kill him. You stay alive. You can turn, turn this fight back around. You were not booping anyone off that bridge. I noticed, I noticed your your boops are not, uh, or how you use the boop is not great. You usually use it too frequently and too aggressively. Um, you got to think of it more of as, as an escape ability, and not be so quick to just use it as there's just something to reposition quickly like yeah you do it right here why why would you do that so you could get here slightly faster now where is it Roger's fine This is fine, we really can't kill it by ourselves. You gotta get the fuck out. Once again, Rissa has made mistakes in her life. Should be noted at this point that they now have... Oh no, uh, that's not that part yet. You just don't have a mercy anymore. <laughs> You're flying for her. And you have two healers that cannot heal you. 
Uh, which is funny because this this is actually still going fairly well. Um, okay. See, like that boop right there is a perfect example of a just a wasted boop. I mean, yeah, sure, you, you screwed it up clearly, but you were gonna was the goal to boop straight at the cart. I, I don't know what that was gonna accomplish other than you dying faster anyway. And maybe that was what you're thinking. Oh, I'm just gonna die on cart. But I mean, honestly, you had killed enough people that you don't necessarily need to die on cart. You could just maybe then you know, kill them because your team clearly won the fight. So there's a widow there, by the way. Like, that was fine to go for the Reinhardt, but you also got to keep in mind, like, like I don't know why you boot there. Um, you you got to keep in mind the, the maintain positioning. And if you're going to completely turn your back on the entire enemy team, that you don't want to be out in the open so they can shoot you. Because you have plenty of cover here. I don't know <laughs> why you all did that work. You already won the fight. The yeah, don't don't boop so aggressively all the time. You may need that boop to save yourself. Also, you're not poking here. You should be poking here. I guess it works out though. They must have forgot about you. <laughs> And the ash. Thanks. Greetings. You are Thank you. I need healing. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, you should have already reloaded your three rockets. Yeah, you reloaded again. You reloaded the three rockets right there. When there was a Zarya coming at you. I mean, it was a good punch, but... He wouldn't even have done that if he hadn't reloaded for no reason. I, yeah, I, why did you just walk out there? Like... Like, you take some damage, and then you just kind of you float and you hit the McCree once, and you're like, I'm gonna know about that. You get healed, not to full, and then you just sort of wander out there when you could have gone out here or, or well I guess you just go through the window you can go through the window and have some cover and shoot from there and then be up here and shoot him in the back the whole time and also the diva threw a bomb see you have to have some sense of self-preservation there Dan <laughs> because when that diva threw that bomb which I mean I think she threw it up here which wasn't a very good spot but you could have booped people perhaps in a position where that bomb could have killed them. If you had just not, like, pretended you were the tank and tried to get on the payload for, like, no reason. You don't always have to die on payload. Oh yeah, and this is the Bastion Switch. I don't know why you're standing here and not, like, with your team over here. I, I, I mean, I think you did go out first... Or at least fairly later, but you should have repositioned where your team was. Because uh, even Silvers know that a Bastion sitting out here in the middle of nowhere is just a free kill. And we should all shoot him first. So, don't just stand where everyone's just going to shoot you. I mean, there you have no choice, but it, don't do that. 
Okay, we're going right for the soldier. That was, that was a little bit of a, a little aggressive, but you know, booped off from off the high ground. You're definitely abandoning all sense of positioning right now. <laughs> like, you should be higher in the air. Be be worried that they might actually hit you and kill you. And it's it's somewhat debatable about the method, so I'm just going to mention it just because it's a little, like, what you did wasn't bad, but there was an alternative. So you're in their face trying to get the squishies, like you're trying to get McCree, Trying to get the healers. None of that's bad, and, and if you had killed them, that would have been wins. But uh, failed failed to complete it. But the thing that, that I noticed was that you didn't really look to see what was happening with the tanks here. Because uh, you had no... You didn't look, like, at all. And there's no periphery here. And there's no way you saw it at the corner of your eye of what was happening. Uh, you did at one point focus the Zarnia. But you didn't really hit the Sigma at all. And obviously your team was focusing on the Sigma and the, and at some point the Zarya, probably when she came back. So it's possible that you could have assisted killing the tank and it would have been really effective. You know, you just like, you just like once again, if you... you th that's when it's, you can maybe boop aggressively. You spread them all out so that they can't hit you and you just like yeet into the Sigma and just keep shooting them in the back. Then maybe your team pushes in on that, kills the Sigma... And then your whole team can push in on it. Um, is that would that have worked better? I don't know, maybe only in the sense that you didn't actually get any kills on anyone else. That that seems like a, a better prospect. But typically, I, I think what you were doing was right. But what I would have liked to have seen was you actually look over there and pay a little bit more attention than what was going on around you. Uh, this also would have been better if you were just higher in the air. Like if you were just higher up, you would just see it naturally. But since you were so low to the ground, you couldn't see what was going on in this part of the, the map over here. Because if you had known that, maybe it would have made more sense to hit the Sigma and kill him, and then you just all push through. Uh, so something to keep in mind. This is, this is just why you want to be as high in the air as possible. Awareness is always good. Well, either that or just get better aim and just kill all the squishies immediately. Easy. It's just that simple for him. Don't, don't the Sigma. He has a thing that eats stuff. Shoot people on the bridge. Go up there and shoot people. We're on the bridge. Go shoot them. Stop being AFK. <laughs> Congrats, you did this. Hey, we're back at the game. 
don't don't be down here. Don't don't be here. Don't be here. Get out of here. Go up. There you go. Okay. Shoot rockets. Shoot more rockets. Don't reload after two rockets and then like leave. Throw your mercy and extra cock at you. Just don't be down here. Don't be down here. And this is why you don't be down here. Because now you're over here. And now you're dead. Like, there is no reason to be in this room. Zero. This is your ferret. Oh, you, you always want to be up here shooting at them. Like, I don't understand why you did that. The the only possible explanation might be is that you didn't feel like you could aim this far away, but that's why that's called playing Pharaoh. Like that's what your job is. Your your artillery fire. Like this is where you want to shoot from. Uh, your accuracy is almost irrelevant. You just keep doing that because it's the safest place to be, and it focuses their attention up at this really awkward angle, away from the rest of your team. Like there is, and then you're, you're down here, and they just oh we'll just shoot all of you then. Or we'll just alt and kill you. Like, no. And now you're like wandering around, you're on some kind of weird flank, you're alting in the middle of a grav. <laughs> Things have gone awry. Yeah, you were, you went around here and it's like, that, that wasn't too bad, but your mercy wasn't with you. Like the entire time. Just, just be up here, it's, it's fine. Just, just do that. A lot of playing fair is just distraction and just laying down lots and lots of damage. Boop them. It worked anyway, but you should be booping them. I mean, predict predict where he's going to be. Like, he runs here, he's now in this window, right? So pre-fire rockets into this window. Okay, he went this way, he's in this window. Pre-fire rockets into this window. Right? Ain't that hard to predict. Also, um... I do this. You, you boop forward. You always want to boop... You always boop forward. Like... Boot back! Why did you want to go forward? Why would you want to be here? You're now in the middle of the- out in the open. You are dead. You're a fair and you're out in the open. You're dead. You didn't even need to die near that. Just, you're just dead. Like, boot back. And be out of it. Because you- you still, like, much like the other archway, you want to have this arch- This is like your own like cover. You want to be here shooting rockets. So don't be- first of all, don't be down here. Second of all, don't boot forward, boot back so you can get back in your cover. I feel like you keep doing that because you feel you're ineffective shooting at this, but theoretically both your hit scans are shooting at you, not killing you, and that should be enough for your team to push in, and if it isn't, well, I mean... It's a team-based game, so... <laughs> Them's the breaks. Oop, fatty shatty. Oh, okay. I came back to you at a run. That's a bad time. Be in the transcendence. It is, it is light. Why didn't you poop into that? Boop into the transcendence. You could have altered inside the transcendence. I mean, you're fair. Your alt is basically meaningless. Like, use that shit. 
Also, wait, where were you? Where, where did that shatter happen? Oh, there's the shatter. Okay, yeah, you're over in here. Damn, they're already up. That is fast. So wait, what were you doing that led up to this point? Because clearly there's a positional error that you're not able, you're not there to capitalize. So you poked a little bit. You see that alt. I mean, I guess it's just the fact that you, that you started going in here for some reason. And you really, against again, don't really need to be in there. Because right here is fine. There, there is no reason to be in the little room. It doesn't really... I mean, yeah, you could strafe now instead of just going up and down, but it really doesn't do that much for you. And arguably that's still slower than just dropping from below this and breaking line of sight. So if you had just stayed in your normal positioning... You easily could have just moved forward, it slid down here, and then barraged that entire earth shatter. Now well, just imagine if you had shot him. And he'd die, and then at least two of you would have lived. Or, you know, if anyone else in your team would have shot him. But uh, I think that was already lost anyway, so it didn't really matter. Would've been nice, though, you know. Just don't miss for him. At this point, you probably should've switched off Pharaoh. Um, I don't know, gone May or something. Because... Trying to push out into this as Pharaoh, like, look at where you're at, you're just, you're dead. This is, this is dead right here. There, there's no way to push into this as Pharaoh. If they're standing out here... Like, I guess you can use this as cover, but this is pretty shit, because it's pretty low to the ground. But it's, it's not great. Um, you're not going to push him in this fair. It kind of works when you're here. It, it might kind of work inside the room a little bit, just because it's going to be chaos in the, in the room. But uh, at this corner... You're, you're in a bad spot. Victory. But hey, according to this, you won, so. <laughs> Just uh, save your boop for when it matters. Use the boop when it matters. It's an escape tool. If you're going to boop people around, you know, help, help diva bombs, uh, you can use it aggressively to kind of juggle hit scans. If you're focusing on hit scans, you can use it to juggle them. And make put them in a predictable arc so it's easier to hit them. Um, keep better tabs on hit scan and where they're going. And focus on them. Uh, just position. Stick to positioning that makes sense. The best positioning, even if it's not winning you the game immediately, it's still the best positioning. It's still the best practice, and. You have to sort of rely that even if all it's doing is really just distracting the hit scan and having them try and shoot you, that is frequently enough and all you have to do is ferret to actually win a game. As long as your team's not full of potatoes. But if your team's full of potatoes, then you're probably going to lose either way. So you might as well just play smart and keep playing smart.